Hey, welcome everybody. This is going to be a quick video explaining what exactly you need to do in order to make your Node.js MongoDB project work on Cyclic. I'm making a detailed version as well, which I will link here. All right, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have a GitHub account with your repository created. And it doesn't really matter whether it's public or private, the Cyclic free tier offers both options. I assume that you already have your project created, so let's jump straight into the code. Now, the first important thing to make note of is that your Node.js application file needs to be called either index.js or server.js. Both of them will work, but it will not work if your application is called something like app.js. The next thing that you need to make a note of is the actual connection. So this is a very basic connection for Mongoose. You can copy this example from the tutorial if you wish or the official documentation. The most important thing inside here is that when you start your application, you need to make sure that you're connecting to the database first and then you need to start your application. And in this case, I'm using Express to do this. So this is very important, otherwise your application will not work. So if you work locally, you might use .env to store your connection strings, just like I have in here. Make sure that you replicate this on the actual Cyclic server. So I've already published my project on GitHub, as you can see. So I'm going to move into Cyclic and I've already created a project as well. So I'm going to click here, options and config, and you need to go to variables and you need to replicate the variable that I had in my code. So MongoDB URI, and then the connection string, just like I have it here. You can add custom variables inside here, the name and the value. So as you can see, this is my Mongo URI string and I'm using it inside here for the connection. And the last thing that you need to do in order to be able to connect to your database is obviously you need to have a cluster created, a database created in MongoDB, and then you need to go to network access and allow this IP address in here. The IP address is 0.0.0.0. So that's four zeros slash zero. And you need to add this IP address, which will allow pretty much anybody to connect to your database here. And the reason for this is that if you go to the official documentation, you will see that setting 0.0.0.0 slash zero will enable access to service cluster from all IPs and make it possible for servers to authenticate via connection string. And Cyclic does not offer private network working on the free tier and that's why you need to allow this IP address. You can redeploy your project if you wish under deployment and then in here of course you need to push it to GitHub so it can pick it up and then you should be able to go to your URL and as you can see title of books and if I go under slash books you will see that I'm getting some data from the database so we're getting the ID, the title, so on, so on, key, and the body. And if I go to the actual database under database collections, and then I just created a collection of books, you'll see that I'm getting the same result. And that's all you need to know. I have a more detailed version, which is linked in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.